Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and let's talk about Season 2 of the Netflix original Stranger Things. First, we'll tell you our recap of the show, then we'll move on to our review and we'll finish up with telling you if it's worth the watch. Created by the Duffer Brothers, Stranger Things follows the story of a young boy who goes missing in small town Indiana, leaving his mother, the police chief, and his friends with the task of battling dark, unknown forces to find him. So, recap time. The main story of Season 2 revolves around the return of Will Byers to their small town, where things are still anything but normal. The characters must tackle the troubles of the Upside Down as it comes to their world, all while battling the biggest struggle of all, relationships. So the first season of Stranger Things was an unexpected surprise as it not only brought the nostalgia of 80s films, but also infused it with a great original story. A lot of people were concerned that this season would fall short of that success, but I think it was even better. This is a very serialized show that, like most serialized shows, relies on its story and how it affects its characters. But what Stranger Things does is bring its characters into the foreground with some phenomenal acting all around. The child actors prove that they're not one-hit wonders and are surrounded by the likes of Winona Ryder, David Harbour, and newcomer Sean Astin, who help round out this star-studded cast. Speaking of Sean Astin, his character Bob, a Radio Shack employee and Winona Ryder's boyfriend, is the best new addition to the show. His charisma, determination, sincerity, and intellect help in creating a fleshed out, memorable, and instant favorite character. Aside from Bob, the other standouts to me are Dustin and Steve. Their dynamic this season is one of the highlights of the show as two of the most unlikely characters become comrades. To me, Steve was the best character this season as he goes through the most transformational arc. When looking at the episodes, I have to say that the best one is either the Mind Flayer or the Gate. The Mind Flayer sees Bob show why he's the best addition to the season, bringing his best Samwise impression. While the Gate not only has a tense emotional climax, but it's the dance afterward that truly embodies the teen angst at the heart of this show. Meanwhile, the worst episode this season by far was The Lost Sister. This is an episode that focuses on Eleven's backstory as she learns more about who she is. The story is instrumental for Eleven, but its placement in the season takes away from the building tension. But this show is nothing without its tone, which is its most prominent aspect. This season continues to feel like E.T. the Goonies or Sixteen Candles mixed with Ghostbusters, Aliens, or Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and that's a very unique feeling. So, with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. This season of Stranger Things is a fun, engaging sci-fi thriller that plays less on the sci-fi gimmicks of last season and focuses more on the interpersonal relationships and growth of its characters. While some more sci-fi heavy characters lose screen time, the overall tone, atmosphere, and themes help in propelling this season forward. This show, in my opinion, got much better as it focused on the most important aspect of it, its characters. So I'm gonna say it's definitely worth the watch. Is it 2019 yet? And that's our recap and review of Season 2 of Stranger Things. If you've seen it, what did you think of the season? And was it worth the watch? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips, and as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest Fanatic 5 video where we discuss the top John C. Riley roles. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, Fanatics, keep it real.